and self-imposed claustrophobia. I can't get back outside myself. I'm not sure if I ever was outside myself. You don't follow me at all, do you? That's not to say you're dumb, because you're a really nice fella and all. It's just that the way that you look at me is different. Different in the way that you actually care to listen to my problems, but also different in the way that it doesn't seem to register on your face what I'm saying. Sure, I'm grateful to even be heard in this great big world of ours. Isn't that amazing? Like how there are billions of us spread out over the earth and most of us don't really know one another. I find that scary. <laughs> I sound like a real tulip, don't I? They do talk, you know. Flowers. All we have to do is listen. I pay attention to things like that. I had this mother once who used to try to take care of plants, but they would always die on her after a time. Till one day she went on holiday and left me in charge of all the plants, and within a week they were standing straight up, stretching out towards the sun. You know why? I would sing to them softly. In the mornings after I watered them, I'd sing them sweet nursery rhymes. I felt an instant connection. I would even say bond, you know, like they were friends of mine. Family even, if you want to know the truth great people. In a way, you remind me of them because you listen and you don't respond much. It's nice. It's nice because you have nice eyes and I like looking into your eyes. <laughs>